getting a little rest before we get ready to head in and start the un or the, the packing down the trail. Relax, John. We got all the donkeys loaded up and ready to go. Muzzy, Sabina, Poncho, and Gypsy's over there. So we're getting ready to go pack out the the uh, last elk here, and then we got probably a three or four day ordeal to get back down the trailhead. Here we go. We've got about a almost a two mile ride and then about a quarter mile pack of the meat down to the donkeys but it's a booger it's down a bunch of deadfalls it's uh, over a creek and so I'm gonna cut some walking sticks and see if I can't help my knee a little bit coming down we got some work to do it's about 10:50 uh, in the morning we slept in this morning so Now we found a spot here that's uh, 0.13 on the GPS from the elk. So we're going to tie up the donkeys here and uh, get our packs frames out and pack out the elk. So even though it's only 0.13, it sounds pretty close, but <laughs> it's a rough one three. Yeah, it's a rough one three. It's a stumpy, we gotta, rocky deadfall. We got to cross a creek, a lot of trees. We got to go down and. Hauling a big heavy load of elk meat over deadfalls is not the easiest thing to do. So, so we're, we're down here where the kill's at. We've got everything from last night. We we did the uh, gutless method, what it's called. John's hanging a meat pole right now. I should probably be helping him instead of filming, but... Why don't you just hold that up while you're filming? Yeah. Just right there. So to get you an idea of what we're going to do here, we'll hang this meat up so we can work on it a little easier. We're going to get the hide off of it. We're going to get it deboned. So we have to, there's no sense in carrying the weight of the legs out, can't eat the bones, so we're going to do that. And there's the, what's left of the bull over there, we'll cut his antlers off and take him out. Um, as you can see he fell down, he's up on the side of a pretty good little hill here. And uh, just to give you some idea where we're at, we're in the middle of none of your damn business Colorado. <laughs> What'd you say John, in a wilderness area? In the wilderness area somewhere in the western United States. That's right. That's where we're at. So if you want to come out and kill a bull, just come right here. And you can do that. So anyway, we got some work to do here. we got to do a little butchering and get all the meat off of those quarters. What would you say one of those hind quarters would weigh, John? I bet you one of those is a good 80 pounds. Yeah, I'd agree. As they are now, we'll cut. They'll be down to 50 by the time we get and then by the time we get to the donkeys, they'll weigh what? Another 80? <laughs> thousand. <laughs> All right, this is the second where we made one trip out. And John is cutting out the other front shoulder. We got the other back back quarter to do. I guess I get to haul it because he hauled the other hind quarter. If you see all those grains on the side of the meat, that's not dirt. Well, on the other side, that's a uh, pepper. John put that under last night to keep the flies off and when we came up this morning it was obvious that, that it worked because we didn't put any pepper on the uh, carcass and uh, the flies on the carcass and the flies on the meat is obvious that it's working. There's a few on the meat but nothing like what's on the carcass so little tip there. Black pepper works to keep the flies off.